today, as you can see, I'm back in a kitchen. Today, I thought I would have a go at making some baked salmon with like lemon and herbs and stuff um, with some asparagus. And okay, so for this, you will need a fillet of salmon, a baking tray, some tin foil, some butter a garlic clove, a tomato, and some asparagus. Are you supposed to put it a shiny way up or not as shiny way up? Let's make a little wall. Ooh, yeah. Put me oven under 200. Okay. This will live with olive oil. got to deal with your asparagus. I'm just going to wash it. I'm supposed to get rid of the ends because they're all woody and horrible. But apparently you're just supposed to like snap them. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so bad. Oh, my asparagus. What is it? Asparag asparagus? 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 I don't know. If you know, let me know because I don't know what the plural is. Place them on to the baking tray. You want to get your pepper and you want to just, just pepper it like you've never peppered before. With salt and just, I'm scared this is going to go all over the place. What ifs? Salty, 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 salty. On the tops of the tomato. So, squirrely, dumpy, dumpy lemon. So now you want to season this as well. Pepper that salmon steak. A minute. Another piece of cling film that you've cut for your salmon. Cling film? Your other piece of tin foil. Don't put cling film in, it'll probably like melt or something. Can't forget the garlic roll. Peel off the outer bit. Chop up the garlic. Then you sprinkle that on top of your. Um, salmon as well. I'm going to add some butter in it. And then a last drizzle of lemon. So we have a little a little parcel, a nice little, little thing, it's quite nice. Cut them to how you want them to be, so I'm just going to cut them into halves, pour the water in. Hot in here! And now, we wait! So asparagus tastes nice. Hmm. Actually tastes pretty good. If you did like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already then press the subscribe button. There'll also be a link and stuff on the end screen. Um, if you want to see any of my other cooking videos then I'll leave links down below. If you want to know the actual recipe um, I'll leave a link to my blog. Um, which will have like all the recipe and everything and photos. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna eat this now. <laughs> um, and yeah. Bye! And there you have it. That's the finished look. 
I was quite pleased with how it turned out. I don't really know what to call this, maybe like a cracked mannequin.